for the most part, GPU prices are continuing to fall. And that's a good thing. And I hope it continues to happen. But for those of you that are still after a GPU and are banking on this price drop that's going on, which I definitely hope continues to happen, which GPU should you be after? What GPU is going to be right for your needs? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today, I'm gonna to be trying to help some of you gamers out there pick the right GPU for you. Now, whether you're on a budget, trying to play at 1080p, 1440p, or heck, even 4K, I'm gonna be trying to help you guys select the right GPU for your PC. Now guys, with GPU prices coming down, it appears like we're getting a lull in the market, which is a fantastic thing to see, and people are getting the opportunity to actually buy GPUs. Now we aren't seeing that MSRP that we first saw when they were released, and guys, I gotta be honest, I don't think we're going to get there. But for the moment, it appears that prices are coming down, even if it is just a little bit, and this might be the best time for you guys to get in and get the GPU that you're wanting. Because for a while it's get whatever GPU you can instead of get whatever GPU you want or need. So hopefully with today's video, I can help save you guys some money. Just like our sponsor wants to help save you some money. This video is brought to you by yourcdkeys.com. Your CD Keys is a website that provides games and other software for a really good price. And right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro key for under $17. All you gotta do is apply my special discount code at checkout, receive 20% off, check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you'll be given a code in your account as well as your email. Then all you gotta do is go to your Windows search bar, type activate settings, and type in your key. To learn more, check the links below. Now starting off, we're gonna go with the budget friendly options. And I gotta say guys, if you are on a budget, absolutely nothing wrong with it. There's some really surprisingly good performers with the budget options guys and one of those one of my favorite budget cards so far has been the 1050 ti and guys look the 1050 ti regularly or used to brand new go for 100 150 bucks guys and i have actually been lucky enough to buy it a couple of different times this year for much less now guys we have one right here for 90 bucks actually um i'll be right i'll be right back i'm gonna i'm gonna go get this <laughs> so guys like i was saying the 1050 ti is a fantastic budget option and another card to actually be on the lookout for is going to be an amd card and this one's going to be the rx 570 now the RX 570 is actually a really good card and I gotta say in my opinion, it's fairly underrated. Now it does stay around the same price as the 1050 Ti, but guys, this thing's actually better than the 1050 Ti and not just by a little bit, it beats it by a substantial amount. Now guys, if you do see this card for about 200 to 150 bucks, pick it up. This thing's a pretty good card and it does not get enough attention. And with FSR coming out, guys, this thing's gonna even be better if they get it working like they're wanting to. This is a solid pickup if you can find it for 200, 150 bucks, guys, a good card. But something to keep in mind. Now, this is a really good card or was a really good card when it came to mining back in 2017. So if you do see this thing used, I'd definitely be trying to make sure that it wasn't mined on because this thing could have got abused by quite a bit. Now another card to actually be on the lookout for is going to be the 1650 Super or the 1660 Super. And with these cards, you really just don't wanna be paying over 300 bucks. Now guys, new market right now, you can possibly find these for maybe 330, 350. And guys, it, I believe that's too much for them. And I think a lot of people would agree on that, but 1650 Super used market right now. Guys, we are seeing some people right here. We've got a uh, 350. Look, we check out a buy it now just to see. Uh, buy it now. So we got some coming down, guys, and, and that's fantastic to see. Here, so here we have a $300 for a 1650 Super, which, guys, I wouldn't pay more than maybe 230 250 and that I believe that's their, around their normal price. But, guys, these are gonna be what you're kind of looking for here and it's good to see that we are actually seeing people list them for a fairly decent price in some regard to what they used to be anyways 
but 1660 is going to be a little bit better than that 1650 super now for the 1660 supers it looks like we're still pretty high up there and I definitely believe that's still too much to pay for it but micro center let's see what they're asking for these things now now micro center does have these listed still pretty high and that's kind of to be expected with the market right now but guys if things continue to go the way they are right now and we should see these things coming down pretty quickly and if you do see these 1660 supers and you're on that budget or just wanting to play at 1080p guys i think that 260 250 if you see that mark guys it's a fantastic mark to see for these cards pick it up great deal because guys with these cards you're going to be able to play at 1080p 60 fps easily with medium to high settings guys it's not going to have a problem doing that this this is a true 1080p card it's going to be able to handle warzone call of duty it's going to be able to do that really easy so we're going to go ahead and move to the 3000 series cards and some of you might be wondering hey why aren't you talking about the 2000 series cards the 2060 the 2070 the 2080 supers why aren't you talking about those and the reason that we're not going to be focusing on those in this video is because nvidia has moved away from producing those they are moving all their production to their new 3000 series cards and so we're not going to really be seeing those come up in the retail space and there it's not a great chance that you guys will have those opportunities to buy those because it's not what you're going to see so we're going to go ahead and start with the 3060 the RTX 3060 is a very solid 1440p card. Let's be clear on that. But for those of you that are convinced that you have to have a high refresh rate and high FPS and ultra details on Call of Duty, Warzone, or Fortnite, guys, I would probably reserve this card in the 1080p range because, well, guys, you're not going to be able to hit that 250 FPS y'all think y'all need in uh, Warzone with this card at 1440p. So just go ahead and save that for the 1080p. Now on the second hand market, this card is definitely still too high and I would not pay anywhere close to $700 for this card. That's just asking far too much for it. Now Micro Center definitely has a much better price for this card, which is to be expected. But if you guys can pick this card up for 400 bucks, like the EVGA one, not a bad price. That 330 price, guys, I don't think that we're gonna see anytime soon especially with cryptocurrencies, they're not going away, guys. It's always going to be there in the background, and they're always going to have some sort of advantageous yield for some sort of miner in some sort of fashion. So, guys, just keep that in mind. So, if you do see this for 400 bucks, not a bad trade. Now, one of the best cards over this entire 30 series lineup has been the 3060 Ti. And guys, I'll be honest, you don't have a great chance at picking up this card. There are a couple of reasons, because NVIDIA doesn't make much of them, and because this is a very coveted card by miners, because it performs very well, and the profitability of this thing is so great because of the low cost and the performance of this thing. It does fantastic in gaming, and it does fantastic in mining. It's a very coveted card. So if you see this thing for four to 500 bucks, pick it up because this is an excellent price point for this card it does really good and it can definitely handle 1440p gaming it can handle it it is very close to a 3070 it uses the same die now 3070 is still better but nvidia messed up with this one and they know that they did which is why they don't make very much of them so guys this is a very solid card here if you f happen to find it now moving on to the 3070, this is a card that I feel is going to be very easy for you guys to actually get a hold of. Now I have seen plenty of this card in stock in different places, and even on the second hand market guys, I have seen this card just continuously being sold. Now obviously paying anywhere close to $1,000 for a 3070 is far too much, but I only bring it up just so you guys can see the second hand market and what's going on here. But if we look at Micro Center, EVGA is the one to go for for the 3070s. All these other guys that are charging 750, 800 bucks, throw those out the window. There's no reason that you should be paying anywhere close over 700 bucks. Don't pay over $700 for a 3070. No reason to, you shouldn't. EVGA does fantastic with their For the Win 3 model, and I have seen plenty of these show up in stock. EVGA has been one of the only respectable companies, only respectable brands to keep a reasonable price throughout this whole apocalyptica that's gone on. So guys, I highly recommend EVGA. They do very good. I love their products. Just 
EVGA. Now, as far as specs and resolutions go, the 3070 is a high-end 1440p card, guys. It's going to do fantastic and be able to handle those ultra details and high FPS and high refresh rate. If you're wanting 140, 240 hertz at 1440p or even 1080p if you want to go 360, guys, this thing can handle it. It does just fine. This is an excellent card for those. You don't need a 3080 for this. It can handle it easily, guys. I promise. Now, moving on to the 3080, the 3080 Ti, and the 3090. And I do want to say, guys, these are the top dog cards. And yes, they can do a bit better in 1440p content than the 3070 is capable of doing. But I do also want you to be aware that it is not by very much. It is a marginal difference. And where these cards truly excel is 4K. So, guys, if you don't just feel like you got to have every little bit of FPS, there's no reason for you to go after a 3080 because it is a very small difference from the 3070 and the 3080 in 1440p content. Now, if you're playing 4K, guys, these cards all day. These cards do great. They do fantastic. Now, splitting these things up and going from the 3080 and the 3080 Ti, you are going to get a bit more performance out of the 3080 Ti, but there is a bit of a cost difference, guys, and there's definitely a controversial bit going on with these cards because a lot of people don't like the ex that they even exist, but they do, and they're here. So which one should you choose if you are looking at a 3080 and the 3080 Ti? Well, guys, I can tell you firsthand from experience, I have them both, and I honestly, when I'm dealing with 4K content, I prefer to get every bit of FPS I can, and I want to go ahead and go with the 3080 Ti. That's my personal opinion, but you are paying more, so be aware of that. Now, last but not least, the 3090. Now, the 3090 is a GPU that you should probably not even be considering unless you have access to 8K gaming, you're involved in content creation, and you just feel like you just have to have the absolute best of the best. And you're okay with spending almost $2,000 on a GPU. If you don't fit all those qualifications, I would just stay away from this one because this is a very expensive GPU and the amount of VRAM that it has on it is definitely only going to benefit you if you are playing at something like 8K or you do some sort of content creation. So you're not going to be able to take advantage of all the G VRAM that's on this GPU unless you are involved in those spaces. Okay guys, so there's my breakdown of the GPUs and trying to help you guys figure out which one is going to be the best for you. And just as another additional resource for you guys real quick, I'm going to show you guys a tool real fast that you can definitely use to help you continue to make those decisions. And this is called User Benchmark GPU. Uh, so guys, what you can basically do here, you can type in any GPU that exists on the market and you can compare it to other GPUs. So here we'll just go with a GTX 1060 and compare it to a 3080. And guys, you can see here, it will allow you to get a really good gauge on just how much better a GPU is than the other. You can compare and whatnot. So that will help you in continuing to make your decisions on what GPU you want to actually go for. So guys, fantastic resource. I'll have it linked in the description for you guys. And just so you guys know, that's what I try to do here. I try to do my best to help you guys out. And, you know, if you do have any additional questions, feel free to ask. And if you can appreciate that as something you enjoy, something you can respect, please hit that like, hit that subscribe, join the community, guys. I do my absolute best to help. Now, that's going to do it for the video. That's all I got. Hope you can like, hope you can subscribe. And remember, it's a vibe, a tech vibe, specifically. We'll see you.